So Brown is a very sweet dog from a loving family of three generations of women. So he loves day and night walks at kumaglakad sila one to two hours around the campus. Kaya sanay na sanay siya na ano, running, walking, searching. Dogs have proven themselves to be mankind's best friend and protector. From comforting us when we're feeling down to guarding us from danger, dogs will always be by our side. Here in UP Diliman, the potential of dogs are harnessed to not just comfort the community, but to also serve during search and rescue operations. I have with me here four-year-old Cotton. He was abandoned as a puppy at the UP College of Mass Communications by several construction workers. Now, he is an emotional support dog for students struggling in their classes. And now, he is also a scent dog, which means he enjoys looking for people and stuff in malls and parks. Through UP Sagip K9 training, former stray dogs like Cotton get a new purpose in life. His handler, Professor Chris Tarara of the UP College of Mass Communication, says Cotton's story is testament of a dog's loyalty and ability to empathize. Meron ako isang na meet na student na gusto na magpakamatay kasi hindi niya alam paano sabihin sa magulang niya na babagsak siya sa thesis niya. Tapos nag-ikot kami ni Cotton, dumaan kami sa kanya, nakita niya si Cotton, tumigil siya. Um... She leaned over, tapos pinat niya si Cotton, tapos nag-relax siya for 30 minutes, saka ginaganan niya lang si Cotton. And it's not just Cotton being trained. Just recently, around a dozen stray dogs of UP finished the fundamental course on emergency response. UP houses stray dogs and cats at the Balay Kaibigan. Here's Dags, a three-year-old Aspen. She was hit by a van in 2020 while she was pregnant. With the kind heart of the people of UP, she and three of her puppies survived. Now she's paying it back. Despite her slight limp, she's among the top of the class in searching for people. This is just UP Diliman's first step in including dogs in their emergency response program. So meron kaming, how do I say, disaster experiences. So ganun din sa fire. So lagi kami may fire, lagi kami may bagyo. And you fault line, ay alam natin na... We'll move soon, ganon. UP says other schools and institutions can replicate the program with minimal funding, just enough for food for the dogs and compensation for the trainers. But owners should really dedicate time for this, as the program requires several hours of training thrice a week for several months. The program starts with basic obedience, agility, and socialization skills before teaching scent training and other advanced skills. Pag halimbawa may isang building na nag-collapse, nag alright, uh, hindi mahanap ng, ng tao, okay, ng, ng, yun mo, yung naked aisle mo lang, hanapin ng mga, mga rescuers na hindi may kita, dito pumapasok yung aso. Kasi yung aso, pag pinakawalan mo na siya, or at least with a long leash, yung mga liblib na lugar, pwede niya maamoy, pwede niya makyat, pwede niya ituro sa tao kung nasaan yun, yun. Former UP Diliman Chancellor Michael Tan says while the program is young, they're already looking at advanced applications, such as the possibility of using the dogs for detecting COVID-19. We hope, actually, tinanong ko si Coach Onay, nasabi niya, madali yan, ano lang, same principles kasi for search eh, yung search dito, matatrain mo lang na maamoy niya yung COVID by using damit ng mga may COVID nga. No? Pero how to get it started? Sabi ko, sige, sige, magkukontak ako sa mga veterinary colleges and others sa ibang bansa. Then, let's hope na in the near future, pwedeng gawin dito. No? Dogs have been our pals for centuries. And with the proper training and funding, our best friends can also come to our rescue in times of emergency. Ralph Rivas Rappler, Quezon City.